this is my first video and there's probably going to be a lot of mistakes and stuff on it uh, I've got a new camera ordered I don't know how that's going to work out this one for some reason won't hook up to my TV set so I have to keep running around and moving things around but uh, this is what we're going to try to make today it's made out of cherry and it's just a little toothpick holder you lift it up and the toothpicks just hop out at you take one out and let it go and down it goes and uh, it works out uh, real well for little gift or whatever what what you're gonna find out when the first couple of times that people use it they're gonna take the top completely off and you're gonna have toothpicks all over the place but uh, they're kind of fun to make and uh, we'll see how it goes if there's any comments or anything uh, I can uh, I can take the criticism I won't hunt you down or anything so uh, let's uh, see if we can get this all edited together and uh, get it up and ready to show you got a little piece of cherry here it's about two inches about two two inches square let's check it out make sure yeah uh, two inches by uh, five inches we're gonna mark out the centers on it and uh, we're gonna make a toothpick holder today so let's see how we come out here Hook the holes for the centers, and then okay, I'm turning it about uh, 1,200. I'm gonna round this out into a cylinder so I can keep my fat hand out of the way. Alright, now we're going to put some uh, tenons on the end so that we can uh, chuck each piece up in the vise. We're going to make a top and bottom. So I just usually take my and just square it up a bit. 
then I have a skew sharpened just for this. Now we've got to decide how long we want it. I think I'll run over here and get a toothpick. Ha ha. Ha ha. Let's see. Here's one. Okay, we got a toothpick. We're going to do the top. So we'll make the top about like that for now. Now, the toothpick is that long. Now we have a little area that we've got to... So we want it at least that long. So we're going to take this over to the bandsaw and cut it off. And then we'll do the top first. Uh, meet you over at the bands on a minute. Okay, before we do any cutting on the bandsaw, I want to show you a little uh, jig I made up to cut round items. Uh, if you don't have one, you can use a clamp. But I made this up. It's just a, a V-block with a piece of track on the bottom that fits in the slot. And we'll use this to cut off the uh, uh, sections of the toothpick holder. And it just goes in there like that. And that's that. We're all done cutting that off. We'll go back to the lathe and chuck it up and get ready to go. Okay, before we go any further, I want to show you something I did to my chuck. I took a little Dremel tool and I cut a notch in there. And... I mark it with my pencil. That way if I ever have to take this out and put it back in, it goes back in exactly the same spot. And this we will be taking out at least once and putting back in. So now I'm going to uh, readjust the camera. We're going to flush the ends up. And then I'm going to drill a hole in here. Uh, you can hollow it if you want. But we need fairly straight sides for the mechanism that goes in here. So it's easier for me to just take a Forsner bit and just drill it out and then sand it and done with it. And then we can make fit the top on. And uh, let me move the camera and we'll uh, get started further. Alright, let's get going. And... Uh, Get her, uh, get the end straightened out here.
want to slow it down and I decide on an inch and three eighths Forstner bit so we'll drill her down to the depth and uh, Yeah, we have to go down to the chuck. So, here we go again. One more time. That should be it. Okay. Alright, that's that for now. Let me uh, turn this off. We're going to do a sanding on the interior a little bit. A little note about sanding. Don't stick your fingers in here with sandpaper on here. Uh, if the sandpaper gets hung up, you're going to get in a lot of trouble. I use forceps. Just clip the sandpaper on there and don't put your fingers in there. Hold it like this in case it grabs. Go ahead, turn it on. Get it in there. Get your sanding done. I started out with 220. I'll go to 320, 400, then I'll put a friction polish on the inside and I'm done with it. I'm not going to bore you with sanding. We'll just move on to uh, fitting the lid on here in a minute. I'll get the sanding done and uh, be back and we'll fit the lid. Okay, I, I finished sanding it and uh, did a quick friction polish on the inside. Now let's put the top on and fit the top to the bottom and uh, move on from there. <coughs> nice, I dropped it. Oh. We'll set this over here. This goes in here. Okay, mark this notch. I don't know whether we'll need to take this off and put it back on or not, but we'll do that. Let's get the bottom straightened up.
Now what we want to do is fit the top to the bottom. And I know that we went an inch and three eighths. We want a pretty loose fit. So we just set it up to an inch and three eighths. And uh, the camera time. So I was off getting this set up. Trying to let the camera see what I'm doing. And I end up causing trouble for me. So, we want a pretty loose fit. We don't want one that loose, though. That was dumber than all oh, get out. So, Yep, that's good. Okay. We'll take this off here. Making a mess out of it now. Well, really screwed that one up, didn't I? That's what I get for trying to hurry. Let's get her all straightened out and fix it. Looks like now. Pretty good. Now we need a little more of a lip on there. Oh boy. Sometimes when you get in a hurry, you pay for it.
Now we're okay on that part. Now, it's not going to be perfect, but chuck that I made a handle for and uh, it's neat for making little holes like that okay I'm gonna sand this and then put the top back on or put the bottom back on and we'll fit the top to it and then we'll make the the guts for everything <laughs> 